Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. All of them, ok? I'm taking all of them. <laughs> no, I'm not excessive and no, I don't think that I'm gonna use all of them. Maybe two, three. I'm trying to, to prepare myself for real for this final episode of the show. Like, this is the final episode of The Wire. Everything is okay. Yes, the backup for the song. Like, really, I'm searching all of the things to not begin to film, to not begin to talk about the show, to talk about my expectations for this final episode. And also, what this show this season was meant for me and meant in general i have a lot of things to say but i'm not ready to to go for it so you're gonna wait you're not gonna see the difference you're gonna have a cut uh, but you're gonna wait a little for me to <sighs> coffee this time i prepared the coffee you know <laughs> i made myself the chocolate milk thing for the previous episode because I thought that I needed to reassure myself and in fact it did not work at all like I cried so much and so many times at the end of the last episode that you know what let's go for the coffee let's go for being into it full into it and even more because it's a long episode it's a movie in fact one hour and a half the extended reaction part that you're gonna have on Patreon is gonna be so huge Again, if you want, I have a Patreon on which you can have extended reaction part for all of the episodes of all of the seasons of The Wire. If you're subscribing right now, you just have to subscribe to the level 2, 5 euros, and you're gonna have access to all of the videos of all of the episodes of the seasons of The Wire. And it's the best way to support me and it's the best way to thank me also for this binge watching. I told you, I don't think that we're gonna have conclusions for the story, for the drug businesses and all. Okay, right there, they managed to arrest all of Marlowe's team and Snoop that they didn't arrest was killed by Michael. So clearly, we can be like, that's it, they won, it's the end and all of that. But no, this show is made for one thing, to show to the viewers how everything is functioning and the fact that police can do whatever they want, political guys can do whatever they want, it's always gonna continue one is gonna be replaced by another one because it, he was killed or because he was arrested who cares no matter what it's never gonna stop it's a system which is in place and that you can't stop and you can have all of the best intentions in the world it's never gonna be enough and you can lie you can try to make traps you can arrest a lot of them at the same time it's not gonna be enough, it's never gonna be enough. So that's why really, if they are not closing the stories about the drug business, if for example, right now, they arrested Marlo and all of his guys, but if Marlo is getting released, or uh, I don't know if we are seeing all of the co-op meeting and deciding that this one is gonna lead the co-op now, I'm not gonna be surprised, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm not gonna be sad, I'm gonna find that logical and great and well written, so I'm okay with it. For the characters, I'm not expecting big conclusions like that's it, for life, this character is gonna be like that. No, this is a realistic show, so we're gonna end their stories for this season but not for their entire life. Maybe in 10 years, you know, into their lives, they're gonna be totally different. And 
I think that it's gonna be the case. Like it's <laughs> it's a case for me, it's a case for you, it's a case for everyone. But still the writers made for some of these characters developments and these developments that they built all along these five seasons for these developments I need a conclusion. And you know for example for me we already had the conclusion for Carver, the conclusion for Kima, the conclusion for for Bubs also like I want another scene with him, like I would love to have a scene with his sister. But at the same time, what we had during the previous episode was sort of a conclusion. It would be enough, you know, if we don't have anything else, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm not gonna be sad. For Carver and for Kima, it's a little the same conclusion. I mean, for Carver, we saw him during the season one, he was making stupid things with Herc. We discovered at the end that he betrayed the team. So to have him now having a place, you know, like having so many responsibilities and leading his guys like that, covering them for some lies, fighting for them and being okay to lie for them, you know, to make their jobs right and all, but still having some limits and not defending the guy who doesn't regret the mistake that he did, for me, it's showing, you know, the evolution that Carver had during this entire show. During the season one, he covered, you know, what happened with Herc and Priest. He was making stupid stuff and he betrayed people. End of the show, he has responsibilities, he's covering his guys, but to a certain point, he has limits, he's conscious, you know, his moral compass and he's going with it. I respect that. And Kima, she began everything by being that free girl, you know, she didn't want to get invested into something, she was only thinking about her career and all and she gave up on her girl and on the family that they were beginning to create together. End of this show. She's taking her responsibility as a mother. She's spending time with her kid. It's cool, it's really cool. And Bubs, for sure Bubs. He was into the streets taking drugs, being so desperate to have some money to buy more drugs. And now he's clean since a long time. He's resisting to the temptation of taking drugs is it gonna last for life? I don't know, I'm not sure. He's an addict and when you're an addict, it's for life. But right there, he's really doing great and his sister is seeing it and they're beginning to, to talk together a little. Even if it's just a little, it's already great and he has a job and He's helping others and he's helping other people and he opened himself also during one of the meetings. Uh, I'm so proud of him. I cried so much during the previous episode, during his speech. He talked about Cheryl. Uh, I was done. For that moment I was done. So see, for some characters we already have the conclusion of the development that the writers wrote for them. For some others, not at all, McNulty, if we think about how we began things with him, he was drinking too much, he was cheating, he was not that afraid of dying, like nothing was really counting except for his job and that's why I think that right now is into really a desperate situation more than during the season one because not even his job, you know, is counting like okay, he did all of that, all of this lies for his job but it means that he doesn't value it, you know, he has no limits it's not okay for me so now that Daniels and Rhonda, they know about the lies they discovered that that was a fake case, thanks to Kima who said the truth and that was also something important for her, for her character to show that no, she doesn't want to cover that because she values her job that much 
Even if it hurts, you know, and even if she knows that it's gonna hurt her friend, she's not gonna do it. And I love her for that so much. Again, you have to be so brave to have so much strength to do that. I respect her a lot. So, now what? These two, they can't cover that line. So they're gonna talk about it to who? To Rawls? To the mayor? And then what? They just arrested a lot of big bad guys. They add their pictures, you know, into the news. They can't say the truth for sure to the press. They're gonna have to hide that mistake. They're gonna have to find a way to close that case without anyone noticing that something is wrong. Maybe they can't fire McNaughty because all of these journalists, they know the name of McNaughty, they have his phone, so it would be suspicious. So what the fuck are you gonna do? That's my question. We have all of the situation with the editor making this investigation on Templeton to prove that he's lying about his papers and all. He has already some proofs, but I'm afraid of no one trusting him, believing him, or just this one's deciding to cover Templeton because they need so much that Pulitzer Prize. But do you want the jury of the Pulitzer Prize to discover that your journalist lied? and that you knew it and you covered him. No matter what, the only thing that I want right now with this situation is for the editor to stay in place. I really love him. I'm afraid of Michael getting killed. He killed Snoop. He was supposed to be killed by Snoop because Marlowe ordered it. There is a tiny, tiny little chance for him to survive, but I'm not sure. And no matter what, he's gonna get involved even more into the drug business if it's the case. And what he said, you know, to Duquan about the fact that he doesn't remember that moment when they were just innocent <laughs> kids. It's really proving that he's not that little kid anymore. And by cutting himself, you know, like saying goodbye to Bug, saying goodbye to Duquan. Oh, what a just to pronounce the name of Bug, I, I had feelings, you know, like coming right there. Just by doing that, he's cutting himself, you know, from his old life. He's cutting that part of himself. He's saying goodbye to that part of himself also. Do you understand what I mean? So even if Michael can survive, it's the end of the Michael that we know no matter what. Do you understand what I mean? And Duquan... Uh, Duquan is gonna be the next Bubs, that's it. No! I don't want that. He's not gonna take drugs or so like. Duquan was doing so well, so well. Can't we have Pris back to take care of that kid? I don't know by what miracle it can be, but can't we have you? Corvin took Ney and we saw how great Ney is doing right now like he made me so proud can't we have that a good aunt for for Dupont also like I'm not gonna talk about Randy can we have new news about him like him being adopted by cover no I'm not gonna talk about that even if I still have that in mind you know <laughs> it's only one episode okay it's one hour and a half but come on I know that I can't have a everything and again I know that this is a realistic show so I have more chance to have things turning bad Michael getting killed, Duquan being an addict at the end uh, things like that then truly everyone surviving and being happy at the end eighteen minutes this intro eighteen minutes I'm gonna stop this intro right now, let's go for this episode. If you want, you have my Patreon to have a big extended reaction part for this episode because it's one hour and a half, so for sure it's gonna be really bigger on my Patreon. You just have to subscribe to the level 2, meaning only 5 euros. And by subscribing right now, you're gonna have access to all of the videos of all of the episodes of all of the seasons of The Wire. 
if you want and if you can if you want to thank me for this binge watching if you want to support me my channel my videos if you want to for me to continue to make that kind of videos it can be appreciated and truly useful let's go for this episode come on let's be brave let's go for it Oof. you just learned the truth You can bury them in an obscure division, but you can't fire them. Until we can reason the best way to address this, do nothing and speak to no one about any of this. If this becomes public, a lot of people who are legally responsible for the situation, good people who are nonetheless in a supervisory role here, are going to suffer. Ooh, are gonna take the blame. He's telling you, if one of you is talking, you're gonna take the blame. Is that? Cops are the problem. Give up the names of those that bought from you. This board, yeah, no doubt. But you play it clean from this moment on, and we both know you probably won't. I always wondered if they'd get their shit together. Mm. But that's board raising. You're gonna make a phone call. Senator, you can't do anything. Those are your detectives. They need someone to blame. They will measure you for it. Do something. They'll fire me. Everything I worked for all those years in that courthouse. You don't deserve that. You did nothing wrong, both of you. Please. And first, second, you learned the truth, you did the right thing. Yes, what your sister said? You want to survive? Yeah. I'm not going to die. My sister, all that shit in here. What do you want to do to put in a newspaper? You will read it. Yes! Your story can change people. Can move people. It moved me! Okay, you can't have that, but what can you have in exchange? How would you play? Mm-hmm. I'd shut the fuck up and wait your turn. When Tommy gets to the state house, he brings you with him to be state police superintendent. I have your word. And I have yours. Logical. Back channel is the way to go. See, the police commissioner done fell off his ass. You're having so much fun. Gary Pascal. He's no guy, but he's got a bear of a gambling problem and a bank of twenty You can't do nothing about that information. And the spray, said Silverstein, and the pig of the litter, Maurice Lee. I kid you not. You know, if we can turn Lee and some of these other drug lawyers, we can route the drug money all over town. Sad business, I know, but at least we know the truth now, right? The truth, you say? Not a good word to use right now. I would so. Maybe I can get you to 
marks some money, so I can get a place to get some clean clothes and get myself settled, so I can go back to school. And on the street, I mean, I got some people ready to get me a really, really good place if I can come up with some money for it. Really? It's not for drugs? I don't think you're eligible for a GED program. If you're still of age to attend high school, come on. Yeah, you are. You lied! I can do it, come on, if that's what you want. And I don't even care about the money. But understand, I'm going to go down to the BCCC in a few days. And find out if you're enrolled. And if you are, I'm going to say, oh, great, come on, you come past with this certificate when he gets it. We're still friends, but if you aren't enrolled, then, well, I imagine I'm not going to see you again tonight. And so, Pete, I'm definitely going to enroll. We'll see. You lied and you're lying and he knows it. She's in new bed, she's in new bed, and I'm going to suffer this entire episode. You couldn't enroll, so it took you right there and still gave you the money. That's a Pulitzer paper! It was? Wasn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. You're beginning to have some doubt. It's like a sweater with the threads hanging off. Pull any thread. What are you going to do? I don't know about it. Well, I'll keep my name out of it. You did a good job. What the fuck? Are you doing that? And what the fuck are you gonna do right now? He's not dead. He's still there? The important thing you know, didn't kill that guy. He's an asshole, but he's not a killer. Well, it's you. Hmm. He's got you. And he ain't letting you off the hook for shit, but he's just putting it all out there. You know, the good and the bad. The bad don't bother me to have out there. <laughs> I know the bad. I ain't lying to no one about the bad. Scared of somebody calling you good? <laughs> It's not because you're special. I mean, you are. It's because you represent a lot of things, but. Get the tag? I couldn't see it from where I was. Describe the driver. White, six foot, closed. Nothing I noticed, kind of nondescript. Nondescript. Surprised, I guess. I just thought, whoa, what's he doing? Funny it made you to see this. Uh huh. The interview doesn't run late. I'm not even here tonight. Someone tried to kidnap you? Drag you into the van? Okay. Who was trying to hurt you? No I'm one. When he was a drunk. Nothing. Tony, we were tagged to them. Okay, why does he say so? To the building. Trying to keep your cover up. Some reporter says he's going into his building and sees a guy trying to drag him into a van. No. No. 
that he's gonna write a paper about it. Thank you.